Hi, and welcome to the Pathways to Stillness podcast series. I'm Dr. Gary Irwin Kenyon. I'm a gerontologist and a Tai Chi teacher. I decided to create this series after receiving many heartfelt responses to my book, Pathways to Stillness, Reflect, Release, Renew, which is available on Amazon, Indigo, and Friesen Press, and in audiobook form from Audible and iTunes. You're also invited to check out my website at pathwaystostillness.org. As with my book, this podcast invites you to a conversation about how it's possible to discover your own pathways to meaning, peace, and stillness, even during these times of heightened anxiety, confusion, and rapid change. We are helped on our own journey to stillness by listening to the wisdom in each other's stories. Chapter 6 in my book is titled Finding Your Way. It gives you guidelines for your exploration as well as examples of those who have discovered meaning and stillness in their lives. In this series of episodes, I have the great pleasure to speak with two close colleagues and friends. Dr. Albert Banerjee, who's our guest, and Dr. Bill Randall, who will act as co-host today. Albert is Chair of Community Health and Aging and a professor in the Gerontology Department at St. Thomas University in Fredericton. Bill is, I understand, soon to be appointed Professor Emeritus after a long and distinguished career in gerontology at St. Thomas University. Bill has just published a very interesting new book entitled Fairy Tale Wisdom, Stories for the Second Half of Life. In this episode, we're in conversation with Albert about narrative care and the criticism of the biomedical model. Narrative care is uh, care that's based on life stories, about understanding and listening to people's life stories. It's actually a perspective that was started by myself and uh, Dr. Bill Randall from St. Thomas University. And of course, there are others involved with that now. But we kind of created that and got it going. And you can follow up on that by going to his website or my website or my book, Pathways to Stillness. Going back to the uh, question of meaning again, and really in, in our systems and for all of us, <clears throat> would you say um, um, the ability to, well, at one level, it's pretty simple, listen to a person's story um, and, uh, you know, we have all standardized tests for various things in, in medicine. Um, but we often don't listen. Then, for example, the difference between subjective health and objective health, where the, the physician will say, well, you can't be walking right now because of your arthritis. And, and the person will say, well, no, I look at my neighbor is much worse off than me and I'm okay. You know, that just in infusing that narrative care which is listening to the person's story can it's it's low key it's cheap and it can make a huge difference would you agree with that i would i would one of the examples i use in in my class comes from john abramson who is an american physician who also is quite a vociferous critic of the biomedical model and the drug industry or the dominance of the biomedical model and so he has this lovely story of a patient he sees for anxiety. And he has a, a wonderful story of this person he sees because she's dealing with anxiety. And he says that normally they would prescribe, uh, she has anxiety and she has pain in her knee. And so she's not able to walk, to go to your example of walking. And normally, he would tell her to rest and prescribe a analgesic for the knee. But because he has spent time with her, because he knows her story, he knows that she has a lot of anxiety and that her walking helps her manage that anxiety. So he can't tell her to rest because she will 
she will have too much anxiety for that. So he has to work with her to find a way of managing that anxiety and also reframing the pain in the knee as not a medical problem, but of a symptom of her trying to take good care of herself because mm -hmm. she's been walking so much to manage that anxiety and take care of herself. Her knee is showing wear, wear and tear. So he gets her to go swimming, right? But this is, this is, an example of a physician working with a patient, knowing her story, knowing her biography, working within it. And it, it is, as you're saying, a form of narrative care that combines mental health and physical health. And it's only possible with a kind of biographical understanding of a person and that takes time, that takes consistency, and you need a healthcare system that recognizes that. I think in Ontario, for instance, you can only bring one problem to your physician during your meeting, right? So structurally, it is a healthcare system based on ignorance, right? It's based on a reductionist model of human beings, which is not what we are. So it's set up to fail. Right. I'd like to put in a plug for some folks who do really good work here in the province and broader, which is person-centered universe. And uh, they consult and counsel and offer online courses for those who are dealing with dementia and mainly in long-term care. But they're totally focused on per the person and the person's story and all the good things that we're talking about here. Thank you for listening to the Pathways to Stillness podcast series. My book, Pathways to Stillness, Reflect, Release, Renew, is available on Amazon, Indigo Chapters, and Friesen Press. It is also available in audiobook form from Audible, Amazon, and iTunes.